I'm gonna take this moment right now and, and thank Dunlap's grandmother. She come down here. <laughs> <laughs> I, he, she heard me talk about what it was like down here. She go down here and made him clean this up. I That's told the best her thing I've seen in a while. Off limits. I put the sign up at the top of the stairs that said off limits. Man, she come Granny, right on, this means you. She come right on down here and clean this up. Well, she didn't clean up. She well, she cleaned up some of it, but she made you get get up and she put, cleaned up most of well, it. Well, she did. She, but you, I, she made she get. She said, "Get up off your air and get over here and get this," and you'd go over there and get it. So, yeah, but I tell you what, I complained the whole time. Well, that's anything you do. Hey, Jackie Bros, folks, da- this is Dunlap down here in your grandmother basement, a little bit nicer than it has been, I have to say. I appreciate that. She's, Thank you. Let me tell you, she sprayed too much Glade. And don't get me. Uh, Glade, you could put, you could take that can of Glade and, and spray it straight up my nose. And it would be a bit better than what it was smelling like down here earlier. That's just because I let my socks back up and I have my sock um, system like I talked about last week. Well, it stinks. You see some stinks. I got it's different socks for smells. different uses. Well, it all smells. And sometimes Granny gets behind on the laundry. Well. That ain't my fault. Well, she got in here and cleaned up a little bit and I appreciate it. I told her my special socks are getting, I got a whole stack of them. Am I going to have to go to Walmart and buy new socks just so I can masturbate, or are you going to wash them? Watch your mouth. You wait. That's all you do is, is down here is play with yourself and, and shit and wipe your rear end with a sock. Bless that woman's heart. I wouldn't want that. It's like having a damn gorilla in a cage somewhere. It's but not pitiful. as entertaining for her. Well. Not as much fun to look at. Yeah, but wipe your rear end with a damn sock. If you're that lazy, you might as well because be a if you, zoo animal. Drunk enough to have to do that. Oh, you're just I don't want to hear it again. I've been over this, Jackie. I don't want to hear it again. And also, let me tell you, sure, a month or so ago, yes, that's what I did down here. I played with myself. All right, shut, shut I your mouth. I wiped myself with a sock. Front shut your back. mouth. But now, I also keep up with the news. Well, that's what we're supposed to do it on here. We're supposed Things. to do it for it's going to be clean, and I appreciate it because it's going to have to stay this way. I got to keep coming back. We're going to talk about the news. Every, what is it? Every day? Folks, this week we are doing a special experiment. This last week was Trump's historic first week in oh, office. Yeah, don't call me and historic. There was so it's much so damn man. news every day. We were like, well, we could do a podcast every day if we wanted to. And we were like, well, we don't want to. But here we are at the start of Trump's hopefully less historic second week, and I made Jackie do a podcast every day. So this is Sunday. Well, I'm mad enough to, to talk about this every day. I, 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 want it, I want to be on record that, that this Republican here it, it, uh, doesn't want to see his country destroyed, which he's pretty much already spent. But I'm going to sit here and keep talking about how it's, it's damaged goods from here on out. America ain't ever going to be America again that I was. Yeah, it was already ruined, but now it's just ruined worse. This man don't need to be president. He's a damn idiot. He's going to end up killing every one of us. Folks, if you are listening to us for the first time, let me tell you, Jackie Brawls is an old, old southern gentleman with a long, scraggly, smelly goat beard. Shut up. He is a long-time Republican and conservative, yet for the past year and a half, we have tried to convince our fellow rednecks, not to support Donald J. Trump. Man, it didn't do damn bit that of good. That did no good at nope. all. It probably helped him get into the White House. So now we are continuing down that path, begging everyone out there, look, listen to this redneck hillbilly uh, corncob wiper right hey, here. Hey, it's not all that. I, just, I live in a modern, I don't live in a shack. I don't moonshine anything. I act like you know moonshiners. I end up, yeah. You can, we could get you some right yeah. now. I don't want, I don't need any of that no, to be on well, here. We, maybe when we get done, we'll go through Hardy's and go get some pickups. Well, let's see if, if I'm in the mood. If I, I mean, it's going to be a lo- another long week. Well, after I talk about uh, this mess all day, that I'm probably going to need it. You know any moonshiners who ain't for Trump? Not, not offhand. 
That's one I wouldn't buy some from. I ain't gonna say his name on here. I don't get nobody in trouble. But I wouldn't buy none from him because he was putting, uh, writing uh, Trump and putting a picture on the side of the jar. Oh, he's the worst one. And I know it. He said, he's the worst I said well, I ain't going to drink it with that ignorant SOB on the jar. I don't want to drink no. I don't want anything, put anything near my mouth that's got something to do with him. None of it. No, sir. So, folks, we want Jackie Bros to be the man you think of when you think of a hillbilly punching a Nazi in the face. Yeah. Or Steve Bannon in the face. And the same thing, isn't it? I never thought he'd a Nazi is what they said. I don't know. If you are a son or daughter of the South and you are like, who are my Southern heroes who stand up to Donald Trump and resist? Hashtag resist. Where is an old man? Who is the anti-Charlie Daniels? It's Jackie Brawls right All here. All right, folks. I don't like a SOB. I don't like, he's an ignorant SOB, loudmouth Yankee. I don't like him. I the ain't trying to be, Yankee. that don't make me a damn hero because he's a damn idiot. Listen yeah. to that humility, folks. This may be how I get rich, marketing Jackie Brawls. Oh, you tried to do everything, run for prey to everything else. You leave me out of it. Did I won't get on here it? and complain about an, the idiot sitting in a White House right now and that's enough. How many... People went to them women's marches, and if I'd had T-shirts with your face on it that said, "This hillbilly hates Donald Trump," oh. I could have I could have made forty. Or 50 no, bucks. women don't want me on no shirt. There's been shirts with my name on it before. If people don't give it a, a damn, why would they give a damn now? Humble brag. Well, I don't nobody want to wear it, especially a bunch of women with other stuff on their mind. Maybe people will look to you to give them strength. Well. And, folks, during this historic second week of the Trump administration, saying his, his historic we want history. to give yes. you strength if you listen to this damn podcast and uh, you don't like uh, Donald Trump, which is about 75% of the people who listen to this podcast. Folks, we're here to help you get through this second week. We're going to talk about all the news. We're going to give you our hot takes. We're going to do our sponsors. We're going to sit down here in this basement. And every day, Jackie, when you come down here, there's going to be more and more socks piled up. No, in the there ain't. I and talk you ain't going to know where on my body they were. My feet? She, Could be? She said she's going to come down here before I come down here and make you clean this up before I come in here. How again. dare I'm not you sit. I ain't come do that to an old woman? She don't want it stinking down here anymore than I do. She got to open that door every now and then. She got to come down and do her own laundry with the, the wash and dry over there. And that's the thing that makes me mad. You let a pile, there's a washer and dryer in that damn corner. I know. I told her to get rid of that oh, so I'd have hell. more. I saw these giant speakers that got like flashing lights on them. No excuse. And then I, I was going to get these speakers with the flashing lights on them, and I was going to put more lights on them, like Christmas lights. Ah. You ever seen them speakers with the giant flashing like LED lights? Like tripping, like you can get high as hell. Speakers? I like spakers, you run them to your stereo I system. I don't know. I don't I listen to the thing at the store back in the, well, it used to be years ago, my store. It used to have a, I don't have it no more. That's another, I don't want to talk about that. That's Jackie, a whole different folks, story. Jackie, folks, uh, Jackie, long-time uh, small business owner, if you just listened to the first time, he lost his, his store, uh, sold it to some uh, high, I, high-priced Nashville lawyers. That's what I get for getting into politics right there. That's good Lord tell me. He became uh, briefly the mayor of Murfreesboro for a couple yeah. of weeks, and now uh, the mayor is uh, Ghost Hurtbird, and Jackie uh, has no money because he gave it all to uh, businesses to keep them here in Murfreesboro. So well, I was Smyrna trying to do, do what was best for my, you know, And now he has no money, and he works at Jockey's. A uh, rival convenience if store. If we're going to do... They sell gas. Do this every day. I got I may be different times because he did, he gets upset if I lay for too long. I can't have my lunch. I, I got to be on time. So I'm going to ask him and see what time is the best time for me to get over here to, to, to get down here. Hat in hand. And talk on... Well, I got I to gotta keep a job. I got to work somewhere. Some people want to lay around. I don't care. So, so you retire. You're old enough to retire. No, sir, I ain't going to retire. I'm going to work. Folks, we're only going to do this every day for a week. Oh, hell, ain't that shit, that's shit it after that. Maybe by the time we get done, that somebody would have kicked him out of office. I doubt it, but hopefully. We're going to give you all a week to get rid of Trump. Then we can go back to our regular schedule. Yeah. 
Folks, if you're listening to us for the first time, this is Jackie Broles and Dunlap of Red State Update. For 10 or so years, we made uh, videos on YouTube. For the last year and a half, we begged people not to vote for Donald Trump. Uh, people eventually quit watching them videos, and we started doing this podcast that never really took off. But now we are here, ready to talk about the news. And now, well, all I got to do my sponsor. First, got to do a sponsor in order to keep, keep this computer Sponsors. stuff, however it works. You, you, grandma said you had to hook everything up to get get the computer to work out of here. So this, she needs this, an electrician to come in here and look at these damn circuits. Cause when I start running too much stuff down here, she has to turn off. She has to unplug everything in the den. Why she unplug anything? That's her damn house. She don't need to unplug nothing. Oh, she loves me. I'm her favorite well, one. Um, but anyhow, when they do sponsor, get twenty five dollars from a sponsor. Helps keep a, a computer working or however it works, make the thing you talk in, all of it. That's what it is for this park, parkist. Uh, so my oh, sponsor, yeah. I got a good sponsor uh, this week, agreed to help me. Uh, didn't know we were still doing it. And I said, well, I just said, yeah, they knew I wasn't mayor no more. I told my work at jockeys. And they said, you still talk on a computer. And I said, well, yeah, I do that. So he said, well, here's $25. You do a sponsor. And that's what I did. And it's a new business. Uh, it, it, it's run by a good friend of mine. I've known him for, for years and years, uh, Bert Perkins. And Bert Perkins, he, he opened this business. It, it's, it's, it's a clever little idea. It's, it's a good, and, and I know if you're in the market for something like that, you need to get down there. The name of it, it's, it's as good as a chair. Uh, my friend Bert Perkins runs uh, as good as a chair. Uh, just different uh, furniture items, some of them homemade, some of them renovated a little bit, antique stuff he get to work on, clean up. Some of it he built from scratch. He's a talented uh, uh, man, woodworker. As good as a chair, come on, they got all sorts of things down here. Uh, like I said, it's either something old he fixed up nice or something brand new. He'd come up right up oh, oh, the spot and made it uh, uh, as good as a chair. Uh, what it? Is it chairs? Furniture. It's good. No, it ain't chairs. It's as good as a chair. It that, that, that says it right there in the damn... So it has a whole warehouse full of things that ain't chairs? No. It, did you hear the name? It's as good as a chair. If you want chair, go to chairs, wherever that is. This place is as good as a chair. There ain't no place called chairs. Well, It'd be ridiculous. I know it. There's a place called as good as a chair, and you're going to find a lot of different kind of uh, items in there, furniture items, things for the home. Uh, come on down there, it's good Wait as a Wait a minute, so this is all stuff you can sit on like a chair? Well, yeah, uh, buckets, you know, barrel. Uh, uh, I think he found an old bench. There's some old uh, church pews in there. I think there's a bed. Uh, that you, you know, and it's as good as a chair. If a chair ain't there, you need something as good as a chair. It's where you need so to go. So he has a bed in there because you can sit on a bed like a chair. But he doesn't have any actual chairs. It says as good as a chair. That's the name of a establishment. I don't think a bed should count. I can see a bucket or a or a tire maybe if you're a mechanic, but I don't see how having a bed in a place as good as it. That just seems like it's crossing the line. That should be in beds. There's, there's places to go for that. This is as good as a chair. There's a, I said a bed. It don't sell necessarily beds. It might think there's one in if there. If I want a bed, I could go to as good as a chair and have my pick of any of the best no, mattresses I think ain't but one now. I don't know about mattresses and all that. May be a bed frame. I, I said they think there's a chair in there is what I said. Uh, not a chair bed. No chairs in there. So there are chairs in there? No, it's as good as a chair. Listen to what I'm saying. Good I God, you don't. a second ago. You... Don't okay, like okay, what. If okay. you, just because you don't like something don't mean it ain't right. you got to ask a million damn questions. If what? you don't want no furniture as good as a chair, then don't go there. What That's if... our sponsor, though. What if somebody tore a car seat out? That's kind of a chair. I don't know. Maybe. It, yeah, it could be that. I don't know. But you wouldn't count that as a chair. It's not It's as good as a chair, is it? What about stools? Yeah. That counts. I know he's got, there's footstools and stools and things like that. Yeah. There's chest of drawers, little ones. You can sit on them. It, if it's as good as a chair, it's there. That's, that's it. As good as a chair. A good friend of mine, Bert, like I said. What about a stool with a back? All right. Just. Like a bar stool with a back on it. I, if. If it ain't a chair, it's probably there. What about office chairs? That's a, just a chair, then. That ain't going to be there. No. 
It's as good what as a chair. What about a director's chair? You go down there and see what they got and what they don't have. Hell, you go sponsor. down there. Well, I did my end of the bargain. I said it, and he gave me $25 to say it, and you're supposed to give this to you. I'm going to give it to you. I Let me tell you what I got planned for April Fool's Day. I'm going to get me a chair. I'm going to sneak it in there. And then I'm going to walk up to Burt Perkins at the front and say, What in the fuck is this? Hey, watch your mouth. Leave that man alone. Like, I don't know. Uh, uh, it must be some sort of mistake. You do that in spite of him. That's pitiful. you just jealous because he, he got his so, own business. You, you, you ain't so got nervous. nothing to do. You got nothing to do. He's working hard all day trying to come How up with How hard can he be working at as good as a chair? Well, he fixed furniture up. You don't know the first thing about it. I could. T- do you think he needs somebody to help him out? Like maybe test test them things. If he out? wants someone to help him out, you're the last person need to go down there. I can sit down good on things. What? If he needs somebody to test it out, say, "Well, I got all these things in here. I don't know. Uh, can you sit on that?" He I mean, can sit down as good as you. You know, you right about that. You good at sitting down yep. on things. Yeah, I seen you sit on just about. I sit on whatever you got. I know I you if you if it's between standing and sitting. I go with sitting every yes, time. Every time you lay. Why would it. you go with standing? But God give us knees, or we evolved to have knees, or God said, Let's let these creatures that can't bend wow. have knees and I'll give them a million years of evolution. Adam and Eve had knees. Don't stay like he did. Look, Where in the ma- Bible does it say that? That they had knees? They just they was naked. They run around. That's Back then, it didn't matter. I don't know that knee. I don't think the word knee is in the Bible. I don't know the Bible reading as much as anything else, but good Lord made them, you know, they were flawed. They, the rest of us suffer for it. But uh, the original sin, but other than that, they had knees, yeah. I'm going to say they didn't have knees, and here's why. This is my theory. Oh, Adam and Eve did not have knees. That's why the snake talked, because they couldn't bend down to look at it. Why? I guess that means they also didn't have a waist. I'm going to say that they couldn't move, move, that they did not have joints. I'm not going, well, I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to listen to the preacher on this. I don't I don't want to hear you, you talk about. If you go to church on Sunday and the preacher is talking about this, you are in a bad church. Well, I don't, I, I, it's borderline blasphemous to sit there and say characters in the Bible didn't have knees or waist or whatever. I don't think that's. No, I think it's because you're trying to change it something. I'm going to say they didn't have knees till after the flood. And God give them knees in so they could uh, get bend down on dry land and kiss the earth. Why? Because they were so grateful. I'm going to say before that, that's why they were sinning so bad. I'm going to say that's why God sent the flood because he was like, you know what? I, they need knees. I'm going to start over. All right. But that's not going to get in your Bible. That didn't say it. Is the people were sinful. People were awful. They're acting awful, he started over. And Noah. Do I'm, it. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say that people weren't sinful or awful. I'm just gonna say if I designed people and I forgot to put knees in, that would be a good time when I'm wiping them out for the sin and the awfulness. Why? To do a redesign, a reboot of the legs of humans and give them a knee or All two. All right. Tired of hearing about your knees. So that's. Good as a chair, as good as a chair. That's my sponsor, as good as a chair. Got everything down in there. You got like a tire in there. Uh, it's, it, if you could rest, rest your rear end on it, they got it in there. Uh, and I, I guarantee you, every bit of it is as good as a chair. Okay, what about this? A tailgate off a truck. I, it, you that go down work there and see. As a chair, unless it's on the truck. Well, you can't have a whole truck in there. That don't well, seem he's right. Well, he's got a bed. Uh, it's a diff. You don't get in a bed and drive around. That don't make it. A bed stay still. You sit in it. I know the difference between a bed and a truck. Well, it don't sound like you do. I ain't a damn idiot. I'm just saying that if a tailgate is off a truck and you sit on a tailgate, you are basically sitting on the ground. Well, yeah. Probably you got to have that's some probably, pipe. Why it probably ain't in there then. He's got a lot of rules. Yeah. And he don't strike me as the type of man that can remember to follow him. Uh, Bert's a good man. He knows how to. He, Bert Perkins is a good man. 
and good business, as good as Chad, get down there and find you something to set on. Folks, Jackie, I got a sponsor this week that I think you're really yeah. going to enjoy. I don't know about that. It's my same sponsor as from last week, and we are talking, of course, about New Spaghetti. Yeah. Folks, New Spaghetti is coming, and get ready for it. I don't understand. All will be revealed. New Spaghetti. So we don't know what's new about it. You just know that it's new. What if I like old spaghetti? I like spaghetti the way it is. If I want to eat spaghetti, I eat spaghetti. Do you know Heather Pirtle and her sister K-Jack? Nope. Well, they're the ones that are behind new spaghetti. And they don't strike me as the kind of people who are going to come up with a new product or restaurant or food distribution service and say, old spaghetti's gone. Well, if, if... What is, is new spaghetti? If it's too different, then it ain't spaghetti at all. You should just come up with, if it's that new, you should come up with a new damn name for it. But if it's spaghetti, it needs to be at least a little bit like spaghetti, all right? You know, or it ain't spaghetti. This press release does not say, here's what new spaghetti is. Now we'd like to hear Jackie Bro's complaints. Press release. It says, new spaghetti, coming soon, all will be revealed. Heather Pirtle and her sister K-Jack. Uh-huh. And oh, this is new, new spaghetti ultra. What? New spaghetti ultra. New spaghetti what? Ultra. Ultras. U L T R A. What? Ultra. I don't know. New spaghetti ultra. I don't know what the new part I of it only, is. I don't know can what the you ultra even imagine is. what that's going to be? No, I don't know. I d- if it's spaghetti, they should just call it spaghetti. No, no, there's nothing wrong with spaghetti the way it is. So why do you got to make it new? Listen to this. What if, what if this is what it is? You know how you get a utensil is like a fork? Uh-huh. It's wrapped up when you go to fast food. Like you go to Church's Chicken, they give you a fork and a little wrapper or a spork or a knife. And in, uh-huh. in, in, in wrapper, it's got like salt and pepper in there. It's like a knife and a fork I know and a it's spork. to go where you get something to go. I know what you're like talking about. Like the worst napkins in the world. Uh-huh. Like... Napkins that like have goodwill got a bunch of napkins and then they sent them over to Africa and then like people in Africa didn't want them and they sent them back over here. You ain't there for the napkins, you're there for the food. What I'm saying, my theory on what new spaghetti is, is it's some spaghetti and sauce twirled on a plastic fork wrapped up individually like a bite of spaghetti. Like a bunch of it, like cotton candy, or just not just a bite. Pay like well, 20. people gonna want more than a bite. Ah, sometimes you just want a bite. Well, you want one bite, you pay a quarter for a bite. A quarter, ah, fifty cents. I don't know. If it's new spaghetti, I not cost you a quarter. They ought to be giving people a bite for free to You're see right. if I like it. They should to do in it should cost a Kroger. dollar. If it's new spaghetti, people no, always want if what's it's new. The, you give a sample because I guarantee you, if you set that on the shelf. At, at Kroger, people going to come up, well, what the hell's new about it? And if you ain't got an answer, then they ain't going to buy it. But if you got, if you give them a bite, like I give them a sample, well, say, what's that? Well, this is new spaghetti. But everybody's going to want a bite of that. And well, if it's any good, if it's worth a darn, then people will buy it. That sounds like a good business plan. Give it all away for free. <laughs> Jackie, come on. Man, it's 2017. Don't nobody know what it is, including you, New Spaghetti. What the hell is it? I don't know what it is, and that's why I think it's so genius to have New Spaghetti Ultra launch at the same time. Because people might, I'll give you this, might walk into a store and go, New Spaghetti, what's so new about that? Piss on you, take the dick out and piss on it. Hey! Or you could walk into a store and see New Spaghetti and go, New Spaghetti, what's so new about that? And then see right next to it, New Spaghetti Ultra, and go, oh, shit, they they upped their game already? Get in the cart. Fuck. Let's go. All right. Watch your mouth. I don't want to hear the language. Well, I'm going to stick to old Chef Boy for now because I don't know what's He ain't new, and I like whatever it puts in the can, so I don't need to try something new. Well, the battle lines are drawn already. Well, I guess they are. It's like the war on Christmas. Tell me what's new about it, and I might be interested. If you say, well, I don't know, then I, ain't, I don't want it. They if are. You, this is a, they are a strategy. They're releasing it. They're Don Draper. They're like, don't put it all out at once. I don't give a damn about what they put in that. Unless they tell me what it is, I ain't going to get it. I talked to Heather Pirtle. I don't. 
And then I called KJAC, and they both told me the same thing. They said, look, we could just we could be in an aisle at Kroger giving people free new spaghetti right now. But we like to tease. We like to playfully stretch things out. What? Well, if, if you Look, if I like spaghetti, I don't want no teasing involved in it. That's not, that don't make any sense. I just, if you was in the mood for spaghetti, you eat spaghetti in a story. Trump's America. Give me what I want right now. Well, I, it, I, it's not, I don't even want spaghetti. I ain't ever nine then. This is a conversation between the makers of new spaghetti and the eaters of new spaghetti. It's a conversation. How Jackie. could there be a conversation? Ain't nobody ever ate it yet as far as you tell me. If you know, but you ain't that, what's it taste like? I ask you, you don't know what it is. So don't say it as a conversation between people eating it because I ain't ever put it in my mouth. And I ain't going to until you tell me what I should. The rules are different now. Now you create a, a food or a distribution system or a sauce, and you don't just put it out in the world and go, well, well I'm finished. Now the, the eaters of that food, they want to talk to you about it. And they say, hey, how about this? Could you make it ultra? And then they go back to the laboratory or the kitchen or the uh, woodshed All right. or the garden or the uh, science uh, building or the dome. And they say, okay, uh, how do we make this ultra? And they say, I don't know what it is. I said, well, you haven't been briefed. Well, this is I a don't... breach of security. Get him out of here. Or what? Her. I'm not going to eat spaghetti. No, don't cut it for me. I just, if he, if it's, Something new, you better tell me why it's new, otherwise I ain't going to get near it. I'm going to say that if you're coming out with a product and it's called new, that your intended audience is not a 110-year-old All man. All right, shut your mouth. I don't give a damn. That's fine. Whatever. So that is new spaghetti coming soon. All will be revealed. Heather Pirtle and her sister K-Jack, new spaghetti ultra. Man. Mm. That'd be cool if we had some music. We need, like, sec second act of the show music. Well, you can't get nobody down in anybody's place. Music come down in here. I'll get Serge fit. down here. Serge? Yeah, I'll get Serge to come on down here. He's not going to come down here. He worse about messes than I am. He, he don't... does have that uh, Howie Mandel OCD. He won't shake your hand. No, he don't. He, you wouldn't get him down here. But He temper. only wears white. No. He ain't, you, he ain't coming down in here. I've seen him wrap himself up in plastic wrap before we go somewhere. He said, cut me out of mouth in this. Hey, you worried about chemicals or something all the time. It's always something he says. But he smokes like a freight train. Yeah, he, I guess those chemicals are all right to him. The only Marlboro, he likes the white, pure Marlboro light. He doesn't want any... He won't touch a camel with a brown... He no. wants nothing with a brown filter. It's got to be all white. All white, yeah. Trump's America. Oh, I'll talk to Serge, see if he'll come down here. He's not going to come down here. I'll get Granny in here to spruce it up a little bit. Yeah. You know what? If you spray enough Glade, though, people think that it's clean. If you spray enough Glade, people think he's trying to cover up either something dead or somebody went to the bathroom real bad. That's when you smell a whole bunch of it. That's the only reason for well, it to sure. be out there. If you, if you smell enough. But if there's a line between dead bathroom and, oh, this place is really clean. I mean, you don't look too... If it's too much, it, le it le lets me know that something must have been awful in here for them to spray that much Lysol, Glade, whatever, all that stuff. Here's a tip. Just open the windows, spray some Glade, light a candle. People think your place is clean. I can't open the windows because I've been throwing my trash out there. And if I open that window, that window up there, that one slim window I got, a, a cascade of trash is going to fall down on me. It used to be, what, you got a raccoon in here or something else? Yeah, that's why I started stacking it up there. Um, and what I do is That's like, what they, that, why, why are they coming in if you stack your trash here? That's what the coon's going to come get into. He eating, it's what he's doing. Even yeah. though I don't know if you had enough of those shocks you wrap, wipe your way around with in them. I don't know if a coon go anywhere near that or not. That's not all I am, somebody who wipes his ass with socks. Well, before Grandma come down here and clean up, that's what she sure hell look like. I'm, I've done a lot. I have so many different jobs and schemes. I'm not just a sock wiper. Yeah. 
I pay attention to the news, too. And what a week it's been. Hell. I don't even know what's going on, Jackie. I'm going to be honest with you. I can't tell from day to day. Everybody's either happy or, or miserable. A little bit of both. You right? can't take a break. I tried to watch Highlander 2. So I can't handle this shit no more. I turned on Highlander 2. I finished it. Got online. Now I can't take an Uber. I don't know anybody get on computer. You tried to get on computer, show show me it, uh, our things on there, and all it is everybody arguing and putting the news, which I'm trying to avoid. Because every time I, re- I read the damn news, it's something worse. They put a damn idiot in the White House. What did he say today? Yeah, well, China's going to go to war with China? China, war. China said that maybe, maybe we looking like. I think everybody looking like. If Trump's in office, we you know what? I think every country is saying, well, hell, we may end up in a war. It ain't just China. They, they, they the one saying it out loud. I have been making up. I don't know that we're going to go to war or if there's going to be a nuclear attack or accident. or. But I have been making up a lot of hamburger helper and freezing it. Yeah, that's good. You need to have, yeah, freeze it. That's, you got those big Tupperware dishes. Just fill that up in case if there's a nuclear explosion, uh, something like that, or a Chef Boyard beef or only, if you ain't got time mm-hmm. to cook mm-hmm. cook up all of Yeah, you put all that, you freeze it good. Now, if a power goes out, I don't know what I'm going to do with all this. Fro- I guess that's what I eat first. Well, yeah, for, yeah, you won't eat that first, yeah. I didn't put any meat in it because I figured the meat go bad. So I just do the hamburger helper. It, it'll eat that way, yeah. Without I mean, the meat. I mean, well, we learned that. If you freeze that. it, it ain't going to go bad. That's, you, you, that's the reason you freeze it. But put whatever, or don't put anything I'm in pretty it. pretty sure just the noodles and the sauce, that'll keep. Yeah. I mean, we learned this from the vacation movies. But they didn't talk about how long it would keep. And I feel like that's the difference between what we just said. And the jokes that they make in the vacation movies. Vacation movies. About hamburger help. Oh, uh, Christmas, yeah. There's old, uh, well, what, Ford. Old Ford used to fall down all the time uh, you know, on Christmas. Cousin, was it Cousin Edie? Yep. Something like that's funny, yeah. So we're going to war with China. Let's see if we can recap. Now, we're going to do this again. This week, we're going to do one on Sunday. We're going to do one on Monday. We're going to do one on Tuesday. We're going to do one on Wednesday. We're going to do one on Thursday. So these will be up early Monday morning, like around midnight Eastern, early Tuesday morning. I'll just run through the whole thing. I don't know. That's up to you. midnight Eastern, early Wednesday morning, around midnight Eastern, early Thursday morning, around midnight Eastern, and then early Friday morning. Around midnight Eastern. We probably won't do one Friday night to go up early Saturday morning, midnight Eastern. But who knows? Something crazy could happen. We have to do one. Or Armageddon between now and then. Yeah. Or somebody may have a damn decency to do the job and and kick his ass out of office. That'd be something worth doing. Would it be possible to impeach him between now and the end of the week? It's, he got a, already a, how many impeachable offenses? Just him being himself. It, he, That's what the liberals say, Jackie. But the, all the Republicans just say well, they're going Republicans around enjoying their day, having list, picnics. Going he's out, done ruined the normal. He's ruined the damn Republican Party. And so they and they all. If all we got fighting for us is John McCain and Lindsey Graham, then we in sorry shape. I'm gonna say right now, it's sorry ass shape. And they even ain't even half ass doing it. They coming on there, well, you know, could have been vetted more. Could have been vetted more. What that's, the hell's that mean? That's like when your grandfather comes, bails you out of jail. He's like, well, you shouldn't have been doing that. I'm going to listen. I can't, you can't do that anymore. I'm going to bail you out this time, but I, you need to, you need to vet better and not drink and drive. I won't say right now, make it clear as, as day, let everybody understand, I was uh, in, a, in the service in the Army in, in Korea, and every night I was over there guarding that Jeep, uh, that's not what I was there for, for what this man's doing to our country. He's destroying, de- destroying our country and what it stands for. And I got, I know Muslim people, and they ain't, they want us to believe all Muslims are crazy. Well, I know better than that. 
How many Muslim people do you know? Do you think? I know about the gentleman that run a cigarette store. I used to smoke and go on there every morning and get my cigarettes. So it's been a while since I've seen them. I, I did go by a couple times to say hi to them, but I used to go in there and get a carton of cigarettes uh, at least once a week, and then if I didn't get a carton, I was trying to quit or something, I'd go by there once a day and get a pack. When you uh, when you go in there since you've been quit, did it make you want to start smoking again? Eh, well, yeah. I'll say it right now, yeah. So I try not to go. It's not because yeah, it, it is... don't have nothing to do with them being Muslim. It's got to do with me not sex. The doctor says I got to quit smoke cigarettes if I quit. But, you know, I got to stay around and take care of my wife. She's home with a stroke. He said he quit six, and it's the hardest thing I ever did, yeah. Well, maybe you ought to risk it. I think they need your support right now. The yeah. issue here isn't whether or not Jackie's going to start smoking again. The issue is he can't travel nowhere. Do you know where he's from or his family? I don't. I, I, I don't. I, somewhere over there, I don't know all the names of the places. But I don't know where. Well, maybe he's from one of the places that ain't on the list, because a lot of places that ain't Saudi on the Arabia, list. Saudi Arabia, Egypt, things like that. Well, all those places, they got businesses, see. Now, they got businesses with, with old uh, Trump's got, you know, business there. So if they if they line in his pocket in some way, he ain't going to do that to them. No, it's poor people, it's poor refugees, poor people that need a place to go, people hurting, uh, that ain't ever done nothing but get hurt. Those are the people he don't want over here. His rich buddies, they, they, they welcome come and go as a place. Let me tell you something. Since Trump got in office, Jackie is the most pro-Muslim I've ever seen him. Well, I used not to think it. We had some trouble here. Murph, probably a few years back, they were building a, a, way, what, a temple, mosque, mosque. They were building that here, and the people tearing it down and stuff, and it just got to be pretty much embarrassing. I'll say that that's reading is on the news. And they had what they'd call an open house. And that's what you people don't understand. And I'll be honest, I was a little scared. I didn't really know what a Muslim was till 9-11. I'll be the first thing about it. I used to think it was just Arabs. That's what I thought. Like Jamie Farr and Cannonball Run. That's about that. And that's just that I didn't know after 9-11. That ain't the best way to learn about something. I'll be the first one to admit. No, not Cannonball Run. But I did learn a few things from Cannonball Run. Like I knew that. Uh, uh, Jackie Chan was Japanese and that they were working on important computer cars that, yeah. that uh, those cars uh, whoever made the car that Jackie Chan used in uh, Jackie Ball Chan Run, Chinese isn't it huh he Chinese isn't it I don't Jackie I, Chan I'm Chinese I'm sure in the movie he's Japanese he so. says he is but he ain't he, that's acting uh, are you telling me again that Cannonball Run let me down okay okay there's things that if you make Cannonball Run today, you do differently and probably better for it. That's all I'm saying. But, yeah, learning about, you know, Jamie Farr wasn't the best represented, uh, representation of what, uh, uh, be it having a Muslim faith is, neither was 9-11 for that matter. Did Roger Moore actually play James Bond? He played a man that liked, wanted to be James Bond or looked like him. I don't think he played. I think, did he play himself? Did he say, I'm Roger Moore, or did he say, he never did say his name, just act Is that like his actual Bond. mother in Cannonball Run? I don't know. That he pulled a fake gun off? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've seen it. It's a good movie. I'll watch it again. It's been a while. Next thing you're going to tell me is Fair Fawcett and Burt Reynolds weren't really in love. Well. Huh. Captain Chaos should have had his own show. That's a fat one, right? Yep. Yeah, he's funny. They should give him a, a cartoon or something. Something like I mean, that. Gary Coleman had a cartoon. They couldn't do a Captain Chaos cartoon. Well, people want to go see it. You know, grown-ups want to see it for Cars and Burt Reynolds, Fair Fox, whatever. And that's for children. Children didn't have anything to enjoy except for, you know, you put that. That's what you used to, when they made family movies. You used to make family movies. You could take the whole family to. That's what they did. I had a little bit for this for you, a little for that for that. And then for the children, you got that a funny fat one. Yep, I saw it 30 times. That's about how many times Burt Reynolds slapped him in, the, in each of those <laughs> movies. Yeah, He knocked the hell out of him. He said, quit that like an idiot. And I'll like, haul off and smack the hell out of him. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to uh, those uh, were good. Fawcett over here. Those were good. But anyhow, Muslims, they, 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 it, this country is founded on freedom of religion. Right? That's what I, I was in the armed for. That's what, all that stuff. And now it ain't the same anymore. It's something different. I don't know what this is. And it ain't Republican either. This ain't what Republican used to be. This is what Republican is now. And all these SOBs sitting in a damn 
They ain't coming out talking against you. Well, you ain't representing my damn party, you SOBs. A bunch of damn cowards is all they are sitting there saying, well, either they say, something about it ain't quite right as if that's enough to say. And then some of them ain't saying a damn thing at all. Then uh, the Nazi that got punched, he come out after the ACLU got the, the ban, the Muslim ban. They're saying it's not a Muslim ban. Well, some of them are and some of them aren't. Now, that ain't true. Some of them, Trump is saying it ain't, but he's, he changed his mind within five minutes' time. He can say it ain't, something ain't what it is and turn, turn around and say, but it is in the same damn sentence. Giuliani he, said it was a Muslim. He's, he's sort of that, was that, that general's boy said it was. Hey, yeah, those two said it was a Muslim ban. Two crazy SOBs. I thought but, you Giuliani know. on Fox, he was really excited to talk about the Muslim Well, ban. he wanted to show off because he said he's the one that helped. You know, uh, I'm, Trump called me and he said, that, that, show me how to do the Muslim ban. He was, I'm the go-to guy on the Muslim ban. If you want to get Muslims out, it's old Giuliani you need to talk to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good interview. And then that general boy, he just crazy as hell, right? He one of them thought Hillary Clinton as bad as she is, and she's awful, that you don't have to make up stories about it, especially ones that don't make a damn bit of sense. You talking about Pizzagate? Whatever that is. I don't even understand the hurting children in a pizza store. I don't, it don't, none of it makes any damn sense, but that crazy SOB a boy got on there, and he had, what, Clarence White Whitehouse let him come and go as he please and be crazy as hell. Whitehouse ain't, ain't Room for crazy people. I, as happy as I was that Giuliani did not get a cabinet position, I have to say that would be pretty entertaining. Just have him come out and uh, embarrass everybody occasionally. And then uh, the Flynn son, that's that's pretty much a Buford T. Justice's son situation. Yeah. That boy gets him in it. Well, he does enough to get in trouble on his own, this Flynn fella, but his boy it makes it worse on him, yeah. Yeah, he just, <laughs> Daddy, they're hurting people down in that pizza parlor. Daddy? Go on, dude, Beefus. I had to talk. This, 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 now, this ain't Cannonball Run. This smoking the band. Another good movie. I can't really do uh, a good Jackie Gleason. Jackie just thinks I do. I Jackie like it Gleason. when you do it. Go on, dude. I'm fat. When I get home, I'm going to kick your mama so hard in the cunt. Hey, you didn't say that. Huh? What? He never said anything like that. Don't say that. It's the worst boy, thing I ever heard come out of your mouth. I don't even know if I... Boy, when your mama shits you out of her gash... What? That was the worst day of my life. Some of it's right. Some of it ain't. I, I mean, I, I'm working on it. It ain't the best, Jackie Gleason. Well, I, I remembered it better than that. I may One put you on the spot. One of these days, bang, zoom... Yeah, ignorance, basically what you're saying. Hey, the beautiful T. Actually, I think I'm ignorant. doing the son, but Daddy? That sounds just like him right there. Now, you got him good. Lock her up, Daddy, right? Lock her up. Boy. <laughs> yeah, just. I, uh, how many other Burt Reynolds movies you think we can talk about? I keep talking about them. I talk about them all day. Gator, White Lightning. Yeah, those those are two good ones. I like those. Those are good ones, Gator's better than White Lightning. No, White Lightning's better White than Gator. White Lightning's better than Gator. Gator Gator's get, weird. Gator gets silly after a while, but that's, so did he, Burt Reynolds. He started this. He, that's, you you see that happen. That's a movie. Burt Reynolds used to be good, Deliverance, White Lightning, and things like that. And then after Gator, it's all, it you know, things got more silly and serious. You see it happen right in that movie. It starts out good by the midtime, and it, all of a sudden it's getting silly. And he never did turn back. He stayed silly the rest of his. I guess he's silly now somewhere. He too old to act anymore. He retired. So then the Nazi who got punched in the face got on uh, Twitter and said that the blood, as soon as there's a terrorist attack from one of these countries, the blood will be on the hands of the ACLU. And I'm just going to assume that somebody made this joke, but there was also blood on the hands of the guy that punched him in the face. So, <laughs> Yeah. Then, uh, speaking of Nazis, uh, Steve Bannon got put on the uh, uh, the security National Security Council. Well, they got rid right? of all the military people, right? I guess they said, get out of the room. I guess they want to run things a, a new way that things have been running. If a council could be just one awful potted meat-scented person, then 
Steve Bannon would say, just make me the council. But I think you have to have more people on a council than that. But I think now he's just got the people on the council who he can tell what to do. Because he, he wants to tell people what to do and have them actually have to do it, not like he does with the press. He tells the press to shut the hell up and t- tell you what, right. Mr. Bannon, they sure as hell ain't. He said the press should be embarrassed, which is true, but probably for different reasons than he thinks. Uh, he tells the press they should just listen. They should. Which, like, what kind of newspaper would that be? There'd be nothing in it. Because they'd be just, just a picture of an ear. Newspaper's supposed to keep these people in line, and they're crazy as hell. They got, they're all going on TV and whining about it. I ain't heard them do much else except, oh, you ain't respecting me. Uh, the way you ought to, we want respect, and you got to act right and give us respect for ruining the White House in this country. We, we, we purposely went out of our way to put a complete imbecile in the White House, and by God, we want respect. Why don't you give this man respect? Kellyanne Conway was talking to Chris Wallace this morning, saying how tired she was. Bless her heart. She's having to go on all the news shows. Every- and defend, yeah, she just, just so damn tired. I tell you who's tired is refugees from getting bombed. They're getting tired, lady. And they never get put on the morning news shows. Nope. The they pictures do. one Sunday show. They put pictures of them sometimes, unfortunately. Sometimes just when they won't go, look at this. And that's what they get mad about. Like, you wouldn't show refugee pictures to Obama, but you show them to Trump. Trump ain't doing Sunday. He ain't no. Listen more. They want the media to listen more. Kellyanne Conway didn't just say, she specified that the media needs to listen to. Well, no, I guess he did too, to America. America, they we got America wrong. We don't understand why Trump is in there. I think they're listening to America, but they want to, to listen to the America that was screaming in the rallies. That's pretty much it, yeah. Is he going to do more rallies? He hadn't announced them yet. You know he wants to. That's all he's good at. He don't care about it. He, he's bored as hell, I guarantee you. They he's, cannot wait for him to get out of the house. It's like retired dad. Like he's going to sign things for two weeks, nominate somebody to the Supreme Court, and Steve Bannon and, and, and Ranch Priebus will be like, you know what you should do? This would be really good for the country. Is if you went out, hear us out, to some stadiums, and you just talk to the people. We need to listen more to America. And he'll be like, yeah, okay, yeah. That's what he loves to do. That's the only thing he liked doing about all his present stuff. I guarantee you he ain't enjoying one bit of any of this. He's thinking of it the same way. He's thinking, like, how can I tell them I'm going to go do a tour? Because I know they want me to be here and be as presidential as the great Abe Lincoln, but I really want to go have people chant my name in stadiums in mid-level cities. He'll get around to it. And they're like, how are we going to get him out of here? And they're like, "Let's, hey, you want to have a meeting, Trump? I'm like, yeah, okay, let's have a meeting. And then they sit down there and they're like, they start talking and say, hey, do you mind if I, oh, no, wait, you go ahead. No, I I was just going to say that you, okay, here we go again. Hey, should I do a tour? Yes, you should do a tour. Yay. And then he leaves. Ranch Priebus is just appointing uh, Republican hacks to terrible positions. And Steve Bannon is, plotting how to get into war with China. Well, we'll see how much that happens by next week's time. How long can they keep doing it? Just they're doing crazy stuff over and over again. And everybody, they just keep doing it. That's what, that's what, they can't keep doing that for four damn years, can Let they? Let me tell you something. We, we've heard a lot of talk about Germany because, you know, all the Nazis. Yeah. And... We've heard a lot of talk about the good Germans, the Germans who just went along with everything, the the public servants who just carried out orders, who thought they were doing the right thing or like the path of least resistance. It didn't affect them. Um. So they just, I was only following orders. I've often wondered what it was like to be a German in those situations, just a regular, average. They were exhausted. Well, like yeah. you think, like, I feel sorry for him. Like, how are you going to, like, you, all of a sudden, you have a baby, you have a little Hans, and you look up, and Hitler's elected. You're like, well, shit, I wasn't paying attention to because th- I got this job and a baby, and now Hitler's in, and then, like, he stays in. He's like, I really thought this was going to pass. 
and he keeps doing crazy things, and they don't know how to react. Plus, they're trying to raise Hans. This is not a defense. I'm just saying I can understand. They wore out, yeah. They wore out. Like, should I go to the, the Der Women's March? I don't, Everybody I, says. I'm now, supposed to be making munitions. People get mad when you make these comparisons. They got mad when they did it to Obama, and they get mad at Trump, Hitler, and all this stuff. For someone that doesn't want to be compared to Hitler, you sure went out of your way on uh, National Holocaust Day, which I'll be honest, I did not know. I didn't know, I didn't know that there was a day. But I did, if somebody told me, I'd take off my hat and say a piece of whatever it is I'm supposed to do. I'm happy to do it, because bless your hearts. Online, they're saying Steve Bannon, he would know absolutely that it was National Holocaust. Well, that's the, on that day is when they did this refugee uh, or Muslim ban, I should say, and then did uh, made him. What did they make him? He put him in charge of uh, national security. They put him on the Security Council. That's when they told all the generals to leave the room. A man that, that used to run a, a, a crazy, uh, what, computer site. I'm sure he'll figure out how to do it. I'm sure that's like going to work out just fine. Yeah, I ain't worried about that at all. Well, he was in the Navy. He was a naval officer. They say he's going to analyze. You need somebody who can listen to, to and you, you got to streamline it. So you cut out the people who have experience, but you want somebody who can analyze. He's just a really good. This is terrible. This is probably the worst stuff. He's, he's the worst man, and he's the one that's got to go first. Yeah. I don't know if he if they get rid of him first or if they gonna get rid of Trump first. But I guess he goes with Trump, one one or the other. Which one goes down first? I don't know anymore. My theory was that there were Republicans like Ranch Priebus who were, they were plotting to get rid of Trump, then they could get rid of Steve Bannon and say, "Look, we got we're virtuous. We got rid of the Nazis. Now it's just us, Paul Ryan, Mike Pence, just outlawing gays and cutting Medicare, and Social Security." Everybody, I don't know anymore. Now they all seem to. They all like it. They're all fine with this. Remember when he was running for, for he was saying he's going to do Muslim ban when he was running. And every one of them stood up there. No, sir. No, that's not America. That's not who we are. That's not. No, that's not. Now he did it. Ain't got nothing to say. Just a bunch of damn cowards out there. That's all they are. Every one of them. Every single one of them. He met with uh, Theresa May, leader of the United Kingdom, special relationship. Talked uh-huh. about their special relationship. Got mad at a British reporter. He, that, that's surprising. Why won't those British reporters listen more? Always talking with their accent. Intimidating Trump, making Trump feel small. Poor, poor man. He... Bless his heart, he just won the presidency. How dare you? How dare you? I'm the president. Good God Almighty. Her talking to him, though, that is pretty much like a... Uh, who are the ones? It wasn't the, the Marx Brothers. It wasn't the Three Stooges. It was the... Uh, what was they running around? One of them had a hat. Had a hat? My name... Uh, 40s comedy, well, black and white. Bowery Boys. Yeah. Old it's Bowery a little bit Boys. like Bowery Boys. Like Bowery Boys' grandfather talking to a fancy British Margaret Dumont lady. There's no winners in a conversation nope. between Theresa May and Donald Trump. Nope. Not the world. Not one of them. None of us. Nothing gets accomplished there, yeah. I I guarantee you neither one of them wanted to be there. Her talking to him is a waste of an accent. Yeah. Well, they hadn't even got to the part where the Mexican president was going to come meet with him, and then they uh, canceled that meeting because Donald Trump said that they were going to pay for the wall and they were going to put a 20% tax on everything. Oh man! Let's we'll see how that goes over. Yeah, that's what we're going to put. It, we're going to show Mexico. All that is going to make everybody have to pay for it, whatever Mexican stuff they like. A lot of this just seems that we're paying for it. Well, of course, in a lot of different ways. Not just the wall, just in general. Jesus, we didn't the torture, the voter fraud, the the the. Uh, 
the national parks. What a week! That's why we need a, a whole week to do this, I guess, because I get that. I can't. How are you supposed to keep up with it? I don't know. I did they ban? I heard this. I didn't go to the uh, uh, Cedar Buckets Twitter, but I heard that they banned uh, Cannonsburg from tweeting, and that the uh, world's largest cedar bucket, which is this, is a true thing that's here, here in Murfreesboro. Murfreesboro. It burnt down. They burnt the it down, and then they built, built it, a new one. New yeah. one. And uh, I guess it has its own Twitter feed, and I guess that they went rogue and they were they were bashing Trump. So I guess that a lot of Trump supporters here in Murfreesboro, but the, you know, they're still people that don't like Trump. Everywhere you look, no matter what your, uh, you know, your Mash stepdad's up. Facebook feed looks like, there's still plenty of people that don't like Trump. And whoever runs the world's largest cedar buckets Twitter feed, they were saying things like, "Where's your tax returns?" Was Cedar Bucket saying that? Yep. Well, whoever runs the world's largest Cedar Bucket. Oh, I didn't Twitter know if he talked to something like, you know, talking Christmas gift or oh, that'd be good. Christmas tree, something like that, like you take a child. If that's the case, I'd like to have it on here. I need, ain't no, everybody around here, most part, likes Trump. Uh, most people I know seem to like it for, for some reason. I guess they're crazy too. But uh, that is nice to know Cedar Buck is on my side. I guess one other person in Murfreesboro that, I know. That does make you feel good. And that's, I think, what. And that's history right there. Even though if he's a new one, he's still based on the old one. That's a, the world, and that's the world. That's a whole wide world. You won't find a, a larger Cedar Bucket mm-hmm. than the one down at Kansasburg. And it hates Trump. It hates, well, it's a good American Cedar uh, Bucket as far as I'm concerned. We should, I don't know if they have somebody does a voice for the Cedar Bucket, but maybe we should have him on the show. I'd be more than happy. I'd like to get an opinion for something, you know, that's that big. Yeah. They may be fired now, though, so. Well, he's fired people left and right. When he fired the whole State Department or something like that, he got rid of all yeah, of them. They, they, fi- they quit or he they he fired them. Uh, I don't know if that's been established yet. I still try to figure out who's, there's somebody leaking all this stuff. Like uh, oh how Dean did and old what was it deep deep uh, deep mouth remember back in uh, uh, Watergate days deep mouth and and uh, it was uh, Dean how Dean they's the one telling the press this that about the president but that that took a while to build up you know what took that Watergate thing addiction that took a long time this is like right at the gate mm-hmm. like as soon as he set foot in the White House these people start saying I want to know who that is it's got to be someone close enough to to them to know all this stuff, to know, you know, curious who it is. Deep Mouth should have had a cartoon, too, Deep Mouth. I think Why you're they... thinking of the cartoons they used to run on Channel 2 on Sunday mornings when they had Sunday morning kids shows, show Little Rascals and whatever, and Deep Mouth was about going to the dentist. Deep Mouth was such a, a, what was a cold name or something like Deep, that. You're thinking, you're mixing up, this how you... Every time, Jackie. Watergate was deep throat. Why? Deep mouth was the uh, pro-dentistry public service announcement that run on Little Rascals. Which one was Watergate? Nixon. That's deep throat. That's the one that got Nixon and all that trouble. Deep mouth was a puppet, and his teeth was falling out, but he'd open up. Uh, Dennis was like, well, open up. And deep mouth would open up, and Dennis would say, well, I got plenty of room to work here. That don't sound right to me. I don't remember no puppets have to do with Nixon. Nixon didn't have no, it wasn't, didn't have Nixon. Deep throat. It was, was deep Nixon. mouth. It went, he'd go meet him in a car lot somewhere. No, that's, that's ne- deep night throat. time. It'd be night time. That's he'd go, to, uh, go parking. That's it. Deep mouth. Yeah. Deep, Mark no, Twain. Mark, Mark Twain, deep mouth. No, I seen it a hundred times watching the Little Rascals on Channel 2. My name is Deep Mouth. And my mouth hurts. I gotta go yeah. to the dentist today. I don't remember any of that. I never did see. And let me look. Well, no Watergate stuff had a song like that in it. I know that. It was on the news every damn day, too. Get your lips and tongue out the way. And then he'd open it up and like, wow, I got plenty of room to work here. So that's why my name is Deep Mouth. And that's why you should go to the dentist today, kids. Well. I guess this is going to be the end of this here. Well, she's got an hour. I'm, I'm, I ain't going to put in any extra hours because i got to put in the whole damn week of this. I'm getting, I'm tired. My mouth getting tired Didn't now. Did we talk about, we talked about the, okay, let's just, can we just recap? We did All the right. Muslim ban. Muslim ban, we yeah. We put Steve Bannon on the National Security Council. Good God. Uh, former, I'm sorry, former naval officer Steve Bannon. He's in the Navy. The worst 
just the worst. I mean, worse than if you had to rank worst assholes. I, he's at the top. Well, I mean, Kelly and Conway. Reigns, Prabish, they're they're cl- they're up there, but you know, he, for, Trump's worse. Maybe I don't know. I, no, I got man go, worse. Man, I mean, let maybe at the end of every one of these, we can see do the asshole rankings. But I'm gonna say right now, Steve Bannon, Steve Bannon, number one asshole. Well, he Nazi, yeah, so that's bad. Nazi, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. he's bad. Yeah, he sound like a yeah. National Security Council put Steve Bannon on there. Uh, Steve Bannon told the media they should shut up and just listen uh, to the president. Uh, uh, Muslim ban. Uh, Giuliani said it was a Muslim ban, even though everybody's saying it's not a Muslim ban. They did. Uh, Buford T. Justice's Flynn sons uh, shut down his Twitter, it looks like. Uh, Kelly and Conway, also really tired, said we should listen more. Theresa May met with, uh, even though she's awful, uh, it's embarrassing that's how awful our president is when the awful leaders of other countries come. Uh, it embarrasses us. Hell, that Philippines guy that's killing everybody show up over here. We'd be like, ah, look, real leadership. Uh, damn, uh, uh, Mexican president, we really fucked that up. Uh, the Dang. Chinese uh, going to declare war on us. Uh, torture, he's in favor of torture. Uh, but he'll he'll listen to the generals, except he's cutting all the generals out of the. How's he gonna Security listen to them? Uh, if you go, say you're gonna listen to the generals, don't kick all the generals out of the room and keep Steve Bannon there. That's the exact opposite of listening to any damn general think, about torture. I think what he meant is he'll have Steve Bannon go listen to the generals, and then Steve Bannon come back and talk about how the Jews are ruining the world. Yeah. Then let's see. There's uh, voter fraud. He's still talking about that. Uh, they're going to investigate that. Apparently, Mike Pence said there was a big abortion march. We didn't even get uh, uh, media blackout. The park rangers, the damn uh, Holocaust Day. Uh, I feel like we're forgetting something. You want to talk about this Tennessee porn? What? Folks, very important. We didn't get to talk about this. I think it's important for as much national news that's coming out, it's important for us to every once in a while talk about local Tennessee news. Well, yeah, that's what We have a lot of Tennessee listeners. Yeah. And I'm not just talking about nostalgia and singing the Deep Mouth Pro Dentistry song. I'm talking about important Tennessee news like Senator Beavers takes on porn. It's a public health crisis. What? A resolution in the state Senate on Tuesday aims to officially recognize pornography as a public health crisis and makes men less interested in marrying. What? That sounds like something from Lil Abner. Like some sort of, like, apple. The porn apple that makes people not want. Men ain't... Interested in marrying. Bill Abner jokes, folks. Senator May Beavers, Republican from Mount Juliet. Basically, I can stop reading here because all I wanted to say was May Beavers also. uh, The sequel to my favorite porn. Um April Gushing Snatch Gashes. All right. I don't want to hear about it. All right. May Beavers... April gushing snatch gashes brings May Beavers. That was the what? tagline on the cover. When you'd go down to Deep Mouth Video Store and Sex Toys, which they named it after the pro dentistry. And everybody, it was like a winking thing. Like, oh, shit, I'm horny as hell. I'm going to go to this damn. Deep Mouth would go down in the car lot, the car garage. That's Deep Mouth. You get you thinking of something else. Deep Mouth in a garage talking to Robert Redford. So, uh, I know everybody's already made fun of her damn name, but uh, my goodness, you can't even look at Facebook anymore without seeing something, Beaver said in the interview. Let me tell you something, May Beavers. All that's on my Facebook is like, we need bodies at the airport. Sean King says things are, are going haywire. Damn, we need people sign this petition look what outrage breathless so if you're seeing porn on your facebook i would like to freaky friday switch facebook feeds with you you switch it on a computer that's all i got to say about the porn tennessee porn
All right, well, she she probably had some good points. Fuck, I don't know. You know rates and reviews, something. Uh, 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 Chachi's, iTunes, uh, Facebooks, uh, YouTubes. Look for us tomorrow. Twitters. This is going Down up. Down tomorrow, tomorrow Early, night too. Monday, midnight, Eastern, Monday. We're putting this up late Sunday, early Monday. Look for something late Monday. Every night early before Tuesday. you go to bed, if you be mad about who the hell's in the White House, like like we are, listen to this and get mad at it, I or guess. Or when you get up in the morning and you're mad driving to work, you're like, what in the hell am I even doing this for? You can listen to Yeah. There's also like a hundred other news podcasts, if so you, maybe listen to those. If too. you get mad at your wife before you do something silly, before you act out or any, act silly, get mad, scream, Don't say. Don't a 30-year relationship. Say, before you say something you regret or worse, Go get, sit down, listen to this. You guys have had a lot of good memories. You've got kids, yeah. and they're doing okay. Yeah. I mean, Jason could probably needs a good talking to. He, yeah. need, he needs a strong uh, male role model. And where uh, are you at? You uh, fighting with your wife. In front of him. Pitiful. Him impressionable. Pitiful. Do you know that he's smoking dope? Why? He is. Listen, you ain't got time to be mad at your wife. You get that boy, get Jason straightened out. Good I Lord. I seen him out behind the school with them potheads from the junior high. See, that's what right happened. You let him grow up like that, and all you did was waste time of fussing and a fighting with, you, with his mama. The next thing you know, he, he ain't never going to uh, uh, write you or call you, and you'll be saying, what I ever do to my boy? And you'll say, nothing, and that's right, nothing. Well, the cat's in the cradle and, and the silver, silver spoon. spoon. A little a boy, boy blue and the man in the moon. moon. When you coming home, son, I, I don't, don't know when, when, but we'll get together then. Dad, you know we'll have a good time then. And fuck you, click. Click, yeah. Went out the language. Well, he didn't say that in the song. They said the same thing without having to say the words like that. Well, that's because it was 80 years ago. Now it's 2017. Everything's F this and F that. People say, all right, Women's March signs had such awful language on it. The president said pussy. Hey, I know it that I don't have to say it. Hear it. Talk about touching, grabbing, hurting. It just, I, what? what is wrong? This country's over with. Good night. Russia. 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 What's in me? What's in me? Well, my blip.